So the video I made a little while ago regarding my setup when I um, did a time lapse video of building a new desk and all that sort of stuff, I had a few comments regarding the setup, you know, because I've only done a couple videos about new things I've been putting in my setup. So a few of you have been asking me what, what and what I've been doing to it to get it to the point where it's easy. It's pretty much what I want, what I need, and that's all I need to go on. So we're going to go through some of the specs that are going from my PC today, and we'll pretty much do that. But for you to build a PC, you know, you've got everything you need. You know, you've got your, you've got your motherboard, your CPU, your coolers, your graphics card, your RAM. You've got everything that you physically need. But what do you do about an operating system? Well, I'm going to show you exactly where I got my operating system from. And I didn't have to sacrifice any parts of my build to get one. So let's go through that now. So after you've spent an absolute fortune on your gaming system and, you know, you've got everything balls to the walls. But when you log in, you get that horrible little Windows error in the bottom right hand corner saying you need to activate it. It does tend to get annoying. If you're constantly swapping out your motherboards, you know, it doesn't really make a difference because you're constantly going to be swapping them out. But if you're set on your build and you've got that horrible little icon and you want rid of it and you don't want to spend a stupid amount of money buying your Windows operating system directly. Well, today I'm going to show you an easy and cheap way how to do it from a company named the VIP SCD key. So let's head over to the screen. So as always, first thing that you've got to do is head over to Google and search for VIP SCD key. So now you are at VIP SCD key. So all you need to do is head over and type in Windows 10 in the search bar. As soon as you've done that, you'll get this full range of different ones. So we're going to be using this one, the left hand side, which is the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see, it's currently, it's now down to £16.62. Now compared to actually buying Windows from the Microsoft Store, you're talking anywhere from £120 all the way up to £340. So this is definitely going to be a big adjustment. So like I said, £14.62. pence, And from here, all you need to do is go down to the buy section. And then it'll give you this page. And just remember, make sure you type in that JT20. And then click on apply. And that'll reduce your discount even further down to a whopping £11.70. pence. Now, if you can tell me anywhere else you can buy that, please let me know. So as we can see, we're going to buy Windows 10 Pro. Uh, OEM key and this is the global version for £11.70 so I'm going to click on submit my order and then all you've got to do from there is is pay so I'm going to use PayPal but there is different options there for yourself so but now this page as you can see the payment has been accepted my order number is down there but obviously it is blurred out so there we go we can see what I have ordered so I have ordered the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key and this is the global version and as you can see the purchase is now done so from here all you need to do is go to view keys and codes and then simply just click on get key as you can see, I've got my key at the bottom. It is blurred out for obviously reasons. But all you need to do from that is highlight this key, control and C or copy it, and then head over to settings. And then as you get the settings, go to update and security, go down to where it says activation. And then from here, just click on change product key. Now, all you need to do from there is highlight that and type in your new product key. Click on next. It'll check to make sure it is a genuine key. As soon as it's done that, all you need to do is click on activate and the windows will do everything yourself. And you have just gotten yourself a Windows 10 Pro OEM key, an official key, for less than £12. So when it comes to this system, we'll start off with the case itself. So the case I'm actually running is from a company called Sara Gaming. The video will be up in the cards. And this is their C501 case there. All blacked out case, and it is absolutely phenomenal. So starting off the bottom, it does have a cutout here for the power supply. So if you do have some form of funky design, it's going to poke through. And then you also have the shroud, which is going to hide all your hard drives which is behind here and any excess cabling as well as and it can also adapt for up to a 360 degree radio which i have there and the video for this is coming soon don't worry it's just a little bit temperamental at the moment but it is from the company sour gamer so this one is definitely going to be interesting so yeah that was the case from the sour gamer and all the parts today in today's video will be down in the video description now, the fans as well. So this case can hold 140 mil fans. And as you can see there, these are Sora Gaming also. And these are Sora Gaming Typhoons, 140 mil fans. And they are absolutely phenomenal, fully RGB and fully averse. And they're just great. They draw in so much air, it's unbelievable. And on the front where the fan, the new cooler is, they also have the um, upgraded version of the 120 mil Sora Gaming fans also. Now let's get the boring parts out of the way. The RAM I'm using is RGB... Vengeance Pro and these are I believe 8 gig sticks at 3200 megahertz so nothing special nothing going on there but again they are RGB and there's nothing exciting about that 
and then as i say the cables are just all blacked out cables i haven't got any modular ones at the moment still trying to figure out where to get some from or what ones i really want um some of the hard drives i'm using i do use kingston drives but i do have uh a couple m.2s in there now i did a video regarding the 500 gig one and my two terabyte one showed up also and down there the little card going on here that is just a usb reader that just allows me to use extra usb ports because i seem to have a lot of equipment that runs usb and it drives me insane and then we also have the leds which are going down here and these as well are from sara gaming and these are all controlled a fan controller which is in the back of the pc uh, the CPU I'm running is actually a Ryzen 7 5800X, recently got that, and it is holding up absolutely amazingly, and it really is just spot on. Just look at that cooler for a second, that is a nice cooler, look at that. It's got temperature gauge going on, you've got RGB lights going on, blacked out cables, it just looks absolutely incredible. The graphics card is a GeForce RTX 2060 Super X Gaming, and it is absolutely incredible. It really is nice. You've got RGB going on the side there. You've got Twin Fro 7 as well. So when the GPU doesn't require the fans to be running, they won't be running either. And it just looks absolutely incredible. And then the motherboard right at the back there. We are running the ROG Strix B550 e Gaming, And yes, it comes to Wi-Fi, but nobody really cares about Wi-Fi. And that is the motherboard I am using for this particular build. And it is absolutely amazing. You know, some of the specs that runs on are phenomenal. So if we hop over to one of the monitors, and if I go over to Cinebench, we'll run a quick detail just so I can roughly show you how this actually CPU performs. So like I said, as you can see there, we've got the, got the Ryzen 7 5800X, and this is an eight-core processor, and it's it's been overclocked to about 4.6 gigahertz. It can be overclocked to, I think, a max of... 4.8 i believe but i haven't really played around with it that much so let's have a look see how this works and there we go that's battling through that already so that's cinebench all finished up and the score we managed to get right there is a total of 14,828. so it's a massive pickup compared to the ryzen 2600s i used to get used to get a score lower than 4,000. so it is a huge upgrade compared to a system like this and just remember Yes, the systems is are expensive, but one of the most expensive things that seem to spe you spend your money on are the operating systems. So, this is how I got mine. And also, the great thing about these OEM keys, this will also allow you to upgrade completely for free to Windows 11. So, this doesn't stop the matter of fact that you can upgrade, so you can have Windows 10, buy this price, and then automatically upgrade to Windows 11 for completely free. It literally is as simple as that. So VIP SCD key is an official platform to get Windows 10 OEM keys, but they also do a lot more other products, including Office 2019 Professionals. So as we can see, it is currently at £41.24. And if you can see, it's currently re already reduced from £170 down to £41. Now that alone is a huge saving. But if I go over to buy now and then type in the promotion code JT20 and click on apply, what this will do, it will reduce the price further down to a 32 pound and 99 pence now that is a massive sale now office 2019 can be used for so many different things and it can cost you a lot of money in the long run by but by doing it by vip scd key you are saving a fortune just make sure you use the discount code jt20 to get 20 percent off your end order so it is true when they say that you can spend a huge amount of money on systems when you don't really need to. So my first ever computer was a pre-build. I still have the original case and all the hardware. And it wasn't exactly the greatest. Obviously compared to what I've got now and a lot of the systems that are out there at the moment. You can spend a small fortune on systems, hardware and all that good stuff. But surprisingly if you build it up after a certain period of time. You know you can save a lot of money. But with the likes of CPUs and graphics cards at the moment, you've probably got no chance in hell of getting anything above a bloody 20 series without paying more than two, three, four thousand pounds for it because of the scalpers out there. And the scalpers, you are the ones that are stopping me from getting my 30 series graphics card, so please stop. But anyways, guys, this was just a short little video just to show you roughly what my system is and what I've got going on with it. And as always, this video wouldn't have been possible by our sponsor today, which is VIP SCDK. So guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video, but first of all, just a reminder about VIP SED key. Yes, they do sell official Microsoft OEM keys, but they also have so much more to offer. 
You've also got everything from Steam games, Origin games, you can you play PlayStation, PC, but they also do gift cards. Now the gift cards will allow you to buy these uh, for your PlayStation Store or Steam at a lower price than what they are. So guys, if you are interested in going to check these out, if you head down the links in the description, all the information will be there so you can go check them out for yourself and allow your system to be a lot better for a lower, lower price. So yes guys, thank you very much for watching this video and if you did enjoy it and you have any tips or tricks, Drop them down in the comment section below. I'm sure I'll be able to help out. But if you are interested in upgrading your operating system uh, for next to no money at all, make sure you drop down the description below. All the links will be there for today's sponsor, which is VIP SCD key. And don't forget, if you use the discount code JT20, you'll be able to get 20% off your final purchase after registering. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching.